Thank you, Shan. I see some questions coming in. So let's go over them. The first one is, can I use fulfillment API issue refund outside an eBay managed payments vault? Uh, yeah, so I, I wish I could say yes to this, but um, the, uh, this is really uh, only for uh, managed payments. Uh, and of course, as we mentioned before, it is a new capability uh, as part of managed payments. How long can I refund orders with eBay managed payments? Uh, so you have up to 90 days uh, from the transaction time to issue a refund through the platform. The next one is, do I need any additional calls besides fulfillment API issue refund for refunding orders? Hmm, lots of refund questions. Um, so uh, you, can, you can do this kind of either way. Um, I did mention that uh, you can only do a seller initiated refund when there are no um, inquiries or cases open against a transaction. So basically the two ways that you can do this is uh, either just go ahead and call the, um, the refund endpoint and see if you get an error. Because uh, you get an error if there was uh, a case uh, that is open or uh, an inquiry that's open against a transaction. Uh, the other option is you can first call the post order endpoint uh, or the post order API rather to find out if, uh, if there are any inquiries or cases open. So you could either, you know, just do it and see if you get an error or check first um, to find out if uh, the transaction is free and clear to go ahead with a seller initiated refund. Okay, we are moving away from refunds. In which frequency do I get my payouts? Can I change the payout frequency? Uh, so we, uh, I think it was a few months back, um, we came out with the ability to have not only daily payouts, but also weekly payouts. Um, this was based on seller feedback that um, for some sellers, the operational overhead of trying to reconcile daily was too much um, or their bank charged uh, fees for excessive activity or, or deposits to the account. So we added the ability to do weekly payout schedule as well. Um, right now, that's not something that is exposed uh, via the APIs for viewing or changing. Um, we have given it some thought. So um, if people feel strongly about that, of course, uh, we welcome that feedback. But um, right now, those are the only two options that we have. And that setting is something that you can see and change in the web uh, experience and uh, in coming months, we'll, we'll be bringing that into mobile as well. Um, it's worth keeping in mind um, that um, this will affect the, the amount of funds that accumulate in the account. And as we draw more and more things from the accumulated funds, um, it may make sense for sellers to switch from daily to, um, to weekly. Uh, so, um, as you think about sort of the experiences that you create, it's worth thinking about that. The other thing I think that's also important to highlight is that um, the schedule is something that could, there could be other options down the road. So don't, you know, explicitly assume that it's either daily or weekly, uh, even though those are the two values that we have right now. The next question is about payouts again. Do I have to mark an order as shipped to get my payout? Uh, so yeah, let me maybe just to illustrate this, I can kind of walk through the flow of funds a little bit more. Um, so as I mentioned, eBay is intermediating and managed payments. Um, that means that the buyers are, um, when they pay with a, say with a credit card, um, they're paying eBay actually. Um, eBay is responsible for then paying out to the seller. Um, that's what we mean by uh, intermediation. And so um, in that model, um, as soon as the buyer pays the credit card, we will um, have an entry in transactions that indicate that um, an order has been received and that um, there is payment pending uh, or that the, sell the buyer has paid for it, but the availability of funds from that transaction rather is, is what's pending. Um, once those funds move from um, the buyer's uh, funding instrument to the eBay bank account, 
um, that is um, is sort of what unlocks uh, the ability for us to pay out. Uh, the um, it's not tied to whether or not you've marked something as shift or provided tracking information or whatnot. Um, now that being said, um, there are cases where we um, for risk reasons or compliance reasons, we have to hold funds. Um, and so um, in those cases, sometimes uh, we may have to hold funds because um, it's a brand new seller or a very high volume, a uh, very high uh, dollar value uh, transaction. And we need to see that um, the shipping has occurred. So um, there, there will be some cases where um, for risk reasons, we'll hold it, but there isn't an explicit tie to uh, marking a order as shipped uh, for unlocking those payout funds. I have my own question. At eBay, we are so proud of our charity program. So when will eBay manage payments support charity? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, so maybe just for those who are not totally familiar with um, the charity program at eBay, there's basically three types of um, of charity uh, that we have on the platform. One is um, what we call direct selling. This is where the charity is the seller. So if you're Goodwill, for example, um, and you're selling on eBay directly, and that's direct, direct selling. Um, that's something that we are supporting as of July. Um, that's where 100% of the proceeds um, go to that um, charity as a seller. Uh, that doesn't have an impact in the um, in the APIs that I that we talked through because um, it's just a regular payment transaction um, like any other order on eBay. The second variety is um, is give at checkout. Um, so, uh, or actually, I'll, second variety probably better one would be community selling. Um, so, community selling is where um, it's a, a non charity seller who's selling something, but they want to donate a percentage of the proceeds to a particular charity. So. Um, let's say that um, uh, you're selling something as a, as a seller on the platform, you want to donate 10% um, of the proceeds to the NAACP, um, you can uh, uh, designate that in the, in the listing. Um, that works as it does today. Um, and in the first phase of our implementation, uh, there are no other changes in the system. Um, eBay or one of its charity partners will be invoicing the seller for the amount that is, um, is allocated to charity. So that's the second, second leg, if you will. Um, in the future, um, we will be getting in, in the funding, uh, the funds flow mix on those uh, community selling transactions to make that just easier for everybody. Uh, that is something we're still working out the plans and timing on, but we'll have more to share uh, in an upcoming session specifically on the charity topic. Um, and the last one for completeness would be um, give at checkout. So give at checkout is where the buyer is um, choosing on their own to give a, a, a portion of uh, money to a uh, charity of their choosing that's on the platform. We have time for one more question and that is such a long question. In the account API, in the onboarding status response, is there anything that gives feedback on the order of the steps? The name field has numbers in the display string, but that's not something we could guarantee to be used for processing or necessarily in a certain order in the response. Or is that irrelevant and we should just look for the single elements that are not flagged as complete? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, the, uh, so, Though it's not called out as a particular data element in the response, um, we will have them um, in in the order to present. Um, the um, there'll be a number before each step in the string, uh, and so if you wish to um, parse that to offer some different, you know, percent completeness or progress bar or something like that, um, you could do it that way. Um, the, um, so not irrelevant really at all, um, but, um, but yeah, it's not, it's not sort of explicitly um, broken out there. 
This is all the time we had for questions. Thank you, Shan, for this awesome presentation. If there are additional questions related to eBay Managed Payments, we'll be happy to address them during our virtual Connect launch tomorrow. Great, yeah, and I just want to thank everybody for joining us today. Um, again, we're super excited at eBay about managed payments and about the new uh, capabilities that we're rolling out across the APIs to support it. Um, we really appreciate all the work that all of our developer partners um, are, are doing to support in that transition. Um, we uh, will have more to share, of course, in coming months and coming sessions. So we invite you all to come back and we will have uh, the Connect Lounge. So for some of the questions that maybe are still uh, uh, out there that people have, we would encourage you to come uh, join that as well. So thanks again and um, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.